What's up? We got Teen Talk in the club. Woo woo! What's up, Teen Talk family? It's your host, Deshaun B, here with Miss KK, the legendary Ajane Jacole, your boy DJ Day Day in the building, Serenity. You guys, Sneaky Cherry was good. And thank you all for tuning into our show. We have a lot of interesting topics lined up for you today. But first, let's hear some of Miss Nikki's success stories for the week. Day Day, what's your success story for the week? Yeah, so recently I just purchased my first car, you know, my first vehicle. So that was a big accomplishment. You know, a long sure. way coming, you know, from if you know me personally, you know, I came from, you know, taking the buses, and, you know, do whatever I had to do, you know, to get to school and work. So now that, you know, I could, you know, have my own transportation, that's just great, you know, for me. And, you know, just looking forward to new goals now. So that's and I know that's a big, a big load that's been lifted off your shoulders, just being able to come oh, and go as sure. you please. Yes, yeah, so, you know, it's summertime, you know, it's summertime now. So, yeah, you, know, you got to have a vehicle. <laughs> You know, Being on the bus it. in the summer is not fun. <laughs> no, sir, at all. Kayla, what's your success story for this week? Uh, so this week, uh, me, you, and a couple of the other teen talkers had the uh, privilege to be a part of the College Access Live um, virtual event that they were holding. And I had a lot of fun just being a panelist, getting asked questions, letting them host, and, you know, dropping a little knowledge on them. It was, it was a highlight of my week. Okay. What about you, Ms. Legendary Ajane? Well, there's honestly no time to be bored. I've been doing hair, and I did my first set of box braids, and I slayed. I'm going to just give it to myself. Like. Okay, let them know. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Serenity? Let us know about your successes this week. Um, I've decided to audition for the Raiderettes. It's a dance slash cheer team for the Raiders, so... Yeah, keep me in your prayers. Okay. And last but not least, Sneaky Trey, what you got for me? Well, currently I'm making my little LLC and my website just to get things running. And I just made my third music video. Okay, you over here really pushing it with the music scene. We wish you the best of luck. Yes. Congratulations on all your successes. Remember to celebrate even your smallest successes every day and throughout this week. All right, it's time to get the teens talking. Over the years, young people have taken over the entertainment industry. There's so many rising stars such as Marseille Martin, who stars as Diana Johnson in Blackish, and Terrence Little Garden High, who stars in the new Netflix comedy, Coffee and Kareem. These young stars are not only blowing Hollywood away, but they're using their platforms to inspire our youth. Kayla, who are some young rising stars you find inspirational? There's a few, um, specifically the ones that you have named, all of those young women are definitely inspirational inspirational to me. I kind of gave myself the challenge of thinking of some young men, like ages between 15 and 25, who are actually out here doing good things. And the one person I can think of is now Finch, who, if you guys don't know who that is, he's an actor who is on Us. Yeah, Us, that <laughs> that show. I think that's what it's called. Okay. And then he's also was named the first Disney Black Princess, which is what got me interested in him. And I just thought he was a very good role model and the fact that they are having a dark chocolate young man be a prince on the Disney Channel, which I thought was very inspirational and just seeing him do positive things, posting about his family, posting about his work and his work ethic, besides some of the other things I see from other young men, his age on Instagram. So I find that very inspirational because there aren't a lot of young men like him out there on Instagram. Just not just like women, where there's a lot of them during okay. this time. And thank you for that name dropper, because I actually never knew who he was. So I'm definitely <laughs> going to be looking yeah. into Disney's first black prince. Um, DJ Dana, who are some young raising who are some young rising stars you find inspirational? Honestly, personally, for me, this might sound a little cliche or however you might take it, but you know, Blueface personally, I, since I seen him come up coming from California. You know, I seen him doing small shows, you know, just around the city, you know, and going to, you know, local high schools and performing, you know, doing little stuff like that. And then, you know, to for him to be who he is today, you know, it's, it's you know, a major to see that, you know, even somebody like myself could accomplish, you know, such a thing, you know, just seeing the grind, you know. He definitely kept his determination from everything he went through, from, like you said, just performing at small concerts performing for free at school. So he definitely did pave the way for his success. And he even, he created that song. He knew some people was gonna talk about it, but them yeah, talking yeah. about it is what gained him the fame he needed. So that was definitely genius of him. 
Trey, what's your thoughts? I see you over there shaking your head. Who are some young entrepreneurs? Well, who are some young inspirational people for you? Uh, inspiration for me, Jaden Smith would be a good inspiration just for the goodness that he does for the community. Doing that Flint water, cleaning the Flint water, finding finding uh, a good business, and he doesn't even have he doesn't get paid for it. It's a nonprofit organization. And there's Yahara Shahi who does uh, feminist work, making sure she does like logistics to make sure everybody is safe out there in the world. Like there's a lot of people that do a lot of greatness. Yahara has always been out there, like <laughs> she's just been out there ever since Blackish. I've never even watched Blackish or Grownish. But just seeing her everywhere, her and Tadea, they've just been everywhere. This is true inspiration of women. Serenity, I know you love you some Zendaya, so who are some young people you find inspirational? Somebody I find inspirational is Marci Marcia John Johnson. Marcia Martin, I, I guess. Can, you. Yeah, Marcia Martin. I can never pronounce her name right. But to me, she's very inspirational simply for the fact that she is the youngest director of all time in our generation, especially her being African-American. It's just, it blows my mind. She's setting new bars and goals for young women all around the world. Okay. And Ajane, why do you think it's important for you to see entertainers doing positive things? It's most definitely important because we grew up in an era where we get to see people who look like us actually grow, become affluent, and just the growth in general is immaculate because not everyone got the opportunity to see how like young black people rise. You know what I mean? So it's definitely important. And even speaking of that, I recently seen Denzel Washington's story on how he actually started his acting journey and seeing what he actually became, even through people down him. So it's just like, yeah. if you really keep faith and determination, anything is possible. DJ Danny, what's your thoughts on that though? My thoughts about society, um, I feel like, you know, these, these celebrities, you know, who have a major, like, impact on society should definitely give a positive influence, you know, because that energy is contagious. You know, if they see, you know, let me give out good energy and good vibes to people, then they're going to, you know, turn around and do the same, you know, the same thing. These people are, you know, their followers, so. Look. <laughs> yeah, so. It's crazy, but they if are. If you're going to be a leader, people. then you have to lead, you know, you have to lead your team to be successful. I feel like you have to lead your people the right way in order to be a good leader, you know? And, and Tara, I see you down there, Gabe. What's your thoughts? <laughs> I think that's funny you said these people are followers because it's, it's fast. Yeah, they are it's sheep and there's no good, like, role models and leaders. So last year, a lot of people started doing, like, charity work and handing out uh, a whole bunch of food to homeless people. Then you got Drake dropping a video, giving random people a whole, uh, like $1,500 and stuff, just dropping it on people. But a lot of people on the internet are going to be like, they're doing it for the, the views. But regardless of what they're doing it for, it's still good deeds, and people are going to follow those good deeds. And that low-key became a trend for the last two years, and then people started wilding out again. <laughs> it really did. And that's crazy how just doing something positive became a trend but they're using it for all the wrong reasons. But speaking of that, Kayla, who were some of your favorite celebrities when you were growing up? Um, when I was growing up, I don't I don't think I knew most of the celebrities that I liked, like their names. I was a I was a Disney kid, but I was most likely a Cartoon Network kid. So I watched a lot of cartoons. So I was kind of in that like sphere. So a lot of like Avengers stuff, Young Justice stuff, but the only one I can really remember is I aspired like Raven Simone because she was a thicker girl. I was a thicker girl. I appreciated her and like the stuff that she went through with her family and her brother. And I also was like BET, so I really like Kyla Pratt one on one. Her relationship with her father yeah. was very inspirational to me. So those are the two that stick out. But like I said, when I was younger, younger, it was a lot of cartoons for me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Look, I love Sue Life and Zach and Cody. That was me. Me, Ashley Tisdale, um, Brenda Song. <laughs> we was right there. Right yeah. the movie. <laughs> and I honestly never knew it was a stereotype that like blondes were stupid or like Asian people were smart. So it's crazy how when I grew up, I noticed what they did in that show. Cause that was actually very impactful for a lot of people. Yes. And even how Mr. Mosby was the black um, bellhop. He was working there for years. It's like a lot of things watching it as a kid. You never understood the message until now that you're older, especially with SpongeBob. 
But Trey, where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? 10? <laughs> yes, like we over here manifesting. Where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? I see myself <clears throat> making a lot of a lot of different type of moves, whether it be music or my business. Well, not my actual business and company, but like making business moves with finances because I still financial advising so myself in 10 years i'm probably going to be inside of a little chill crib talking to a lot of people on the phone about stocks and uh currencies and also making my own little videos making my own songs still growing and completing things okay how about you serenity where do you see yourself in the next 10 years where i see myself in the next 10 years um hopefully you know, manifesting um, to finish my career, hopefully get started in it. You know what I mean? Finish my schooling and then get started in my career, whether it be kinesiology or maybe broadcasting. Either one, I just want to be so successful. I want to be married with my kids, traveling the world, definitely making business moves. I want to start investing into local black businesses, like okay. kind of like a secret admirer you would say you know you just want to be that person that invests into their community but not be known yeah okay. i like that it's like you just you want to be able to give a good deed and not receive nothing from it just doing it. yeah i like the way that you're you thinking and going with that uh janet how about you where do you see yourself in the next two years because i know you got a lot of goals and aspirations yeah um in the next 10 years i honestly see myself like all the way out of my shell. Cause I know sometimes like I'm a very conservative person, but very influential. And I do have a lot to say sometimes. So I just plan on using that and, you know, just being very sustainable in whatever I do. And honestly, I see myself on an island in Hawaii okay. um, with a big bank account, but also, <laughs> a pure heart because you could be rich and lonely but at the end of the day you know the goal is to be happy you know what i'm saying okay i felt that i yeah. felt that i know our audience felt that so i definitely appreciate you for sharing that dj day day what type of legacy do you want to leave behind the type of legacy i want to leave behind that is a very good question and that is a very powerful question i f that is deep you know i just want to be you know a good person that you know helped out people somebody who really meant something and stood for something and made a change i want to you know people to say that dj dede he impacted me he influenced me to change my life he influenced me to make a better way or you know even be successful or whatever the case is that's i just you know want to impact other people's life that's going to be my legacy you see that right there you have a positive legacy that you want to you have a positive goal, and that right there is going to take you a long way. Even you admitted that that was a difficult question. I feel like it's difficult for a lot of people because you never just sit and think, what do you want your legacy to be? We have always just see ourselves on the go, striving for dreams and goals, but it's like, okay, if we was to die today, what do we want to be known for? What do we want to be remembered for? I feel like we should always live every day as if it's our last day. So whatever, whatever we go, we were able to fulfill our legacy. But I thank you all for, that's all we have today. And thank you all for tuning into the Teen Talk podcast. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at Teen Talk Vegas 881. And check us out at TeenTalkVegas.com. Thank you all for tuning into our YouTube channel. Be sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Teen Talk Vegas 881. Stay tuned for more Teen Talk after this.